All right, hello everybody, it's me, Clonk, and we're playing Eloquent... Wait, never mind, I'm gonna wait on that, because I just saw... All right, hello everybody! <laughs> One, two, three... All right, hello everybody, it's me, Clonk, and we're playing Eloquent Countenance. I didn't have to do this intro three times in a row. This game is a work of fiction. While the game includes materials reminiscent of existing religions, it has nothing to do with real life. The game contains subjective interpreta interpretations of angels. I hope you read that last bit yourself, YouTube. You have been told that the pastor of your church had suddenly passed away last night. Oh, I need to click now? Oh, I guess so. As you helped with his wife's funeral not long ago. You were assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service today as well. Look at that wind sound effect. And by the time the service comes to an end... What about it? So this is made by Rachel Draws This, the same developer as, um... Dead Plate and uh, Elevator Hitch and Cold Front, by the way. This is their first game, I believe? I just never played it. The funeral is about to begin. All guests of the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. For all service assistance, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Remember, everything must be perfect. There should be a written procedure for assistance to read somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me not make any mistakes during the ceremony would be very helpful as well. Let us do this then. Aw, this is... What a cutie. Load, leave. Can I not save into... Partially burnt photo. Front? Don't forget. Excuse me? Well, I assume it says forget. Don't forge it. Forge it. <laughs> Okay, that's a little interesting that we have that. Um, what's the... Lick... Licka? Licka? Ligma. Ligma. Ligma balls, chat. Okay. Sorry, bad bad joke, bad joke. This is cool, man! This reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> the first time a Pokemon game had 3D in it. <laughs> oh my. Starting the ceremony without proper preparation is the same as praying for failure. Where am I supposed to pray? A stack of religious books, verse of the day. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they, yet were they drawn swords. Psalm 53:21. Okay. Oh. Oh, why did I click it again, dude? Oh. Okay, wait. Study of angels. Angels are trustworthy servants of the Lord. They obey the Lord unconditionally, prioritizing them and giving them tasks to them. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of an angel is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe the angel's words unconditionally, as we follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Right. There we go. Obtain funeral information memo. Oh. What? Well, uh... Do I have some trauma? <gasps> uh, uh, another nosebleed. Oh, never mind. Okay. When will I get used to... What? Used to what? Have I bled like this before? What do you mean? You... What do you mean you've bled like... Of course you've had a nosebleed. Everyone's got a nosebleed. The final event listed is now difficult to read from it being covered by the blood. Oh, well, great. Oh, my God. Order of service, opening speech, prayers, chanting hymns, wreath laying, and re requirement requiem. I I have never had a nosebleed. Get over here. What what is that, Mister Priest? What are these instructions? One two three four five six seven eight nine zero question mark. Uh. Prayer, clap equals candles. You got clapping candles? That's sick. You can press X to review your inventory. This is all the preparation I need. 
I should start heading over to the front of the altar and find my assigned spot. Wait, I didn't pray, though. Middle candle holder. Seems like there's no need to use it at the moment. What is this? Small frame painting depicting a holy angel. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> this frame is perfect. I should be able to pray to this. How holy. I'm touched. May the heavens be with me to help me remember everything I need to know on this day. Oh, it's a save! That's lovely. And it was in Korean. <laughs> hey, there's no secret porn folder. There's just homework folders, okay? Okay. What about these stacks of books? Stack of religious books. List of holy names. Oh my god. Abigail, meaning joy of God. Anna, meaning God's grace or favor. Angelica, meaning the messenger of God. Angel. Okay, what about... Okay, C. Caitlin, meaning pure purity. Celeste, meaning daughter of heaven. Krista, meaning follower. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a follower. That's a fallen angel. Was that Lucifer? Was that actually a picture of Lucifer? No way, dude. I don't think we're Catholic. This true appearance of an angel is impossible to describe with the use of a human tongue. Human beings who see their original form will have their minds broken, their flesh burn, and eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Therefore, when angels communicate with humans, they must appear as an acceptable acceptable illusion or in a vessel that the human mind can comprehend. Aren't, like, biblically accurate angels, like, fucking monster aliens? Most angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. Yeah, isn't, like, the first time someone saw an angel, they had, like, a cow's head with, like, a cow's head, a snake's head, like, an lion's head or something? Like, and, and a human head, like, four-way around, and they had, like, giant wings... And, like, they were, like, made out of steel. <laughs> and then the other one is just, like, the circle with a bunch of wheels around it with eyeballs and wings. The vessel of an angel in the human world is gifted by the Lord. However, this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Angels who have fallen have their vessel taken and are banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist on our world. I don't know, man. I'm not religious. I grew up religious. <laughs> Not by choice, obviously. Eden, meaning paradise, place of delight. Elizabeth, promise from God, God is my oath. Eve, meaning life. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I can't leave. Can I go now? But all of candles that are yet to be lit. Lit. There it is. Question mark? A strange voice suddenly starts to ring in your head. Yeah, there's different types of angels. Like, there's, like, a hierarchy, and each type looks different. Was that a Dark Souls sound effect? <laughs> Be not afraid, human. Well, now you're starting to scare me. Who starts a convo like that? Angels. <sighs> wow, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no. If I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So you know what? Go. Be free. I re release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off, too. It's kind of killing the mood. It's... Oh, thank you. Thank I appreciate that a lot, actually. Now that that's all out of the way... Can you hear my oh-so-friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? <laughs> Chat, do I... Do I have a voice like that? Do I have a voice that's, um, trustworthy? What do you think, Chat? I, I think so. I think I'm pretty... What, am I a con man to you people? What? What? What do you mean, fuck no? No? What do you mean? I... I have a... I hate you all. You don't have that kind of voice. Fine. Fuck, chat. Youch. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. My heart. My sad, fragile heart. It's... It's... Not being broken. What I just said was just a part of a silly bit to make you loosen up. So I didn't expect much, but... You don't have to be so cold towards me, yeah? I'm friendly. Promise. But anyway, it's nice to know that you can hear me. And you can stay in the basement now. Now how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? Not at all. 
All right, all right. Everyone gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. Smiley face. Oh my! Oh, 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 it's dark. It's fucking flashbang, bro. Bald. Bald. Ta-da! <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> um. I see this wasn't, uh, planned. Aren't you too disappointed? What? Did you expect me to be more, well, holy looking? Aw, oh, come on. Chin up now. No one besides me even wanted to try and come meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. <laughs> I love this pose. <laughs> you, chat! You should be grateful, lady. Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. This is literally how I would act, by the way. Surprise quiz! Guess what I'm supposed to be. Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Okay. Okay, it's a little loud. I'm turning it down, brothers. I'm turning it down. Boom! I could, I could do with less chanting. I could do with less chanting. Am I right, chat? He's an angel? I'm an angel to you guys? Thanks. I, I love you guys, too. I'm like your guardian angel? Thanks, chat. <laughs> I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Ah, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the by. So don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. Demon, human, god. Well, I doubt he's gone, and I... I'm gonna say human. You're just a dude. You're just... You're just me. Oh. Then I assume you also talk to other humans telepathically and show them illusions in their head. <laughs> well, let's just say I'm, I'm living rent-free in a lot of people's heads, okay, buddy? Whoa. I didn't know humanity has evolved this much already. Oh, how the time flies. You're joking, right? Tell me you didn't actually think I was a human. I'm an angel. That's right. An angel. Well, guardian angel, to be specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. I swear to God, is the chanting getting louder? But don't call me that. Too pretentious of a title, don't you think? So just call me by my name. It's Forkus. Anyways, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel daddy reeking of old man energy suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. What? Am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? I didn't say anything... <laughs> oh, well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyways. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to look over got tied up with this obviously suspicious church. Now, it would be really inconvenient for me if someone who's already on the site were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Excuse me, excuse me. Forkus, I don't like the way your hands are. I... Forkus, you're in the... Uh, Forkus, you're in the... You're making a very strange hand sign to a woman, okay? This is not okay, and she's a... She's a lady of the cloth, okay? You can't... You can't touch her like that. Stay away, Forkus. Hmm. Alright, what I just said sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. But like I told you before and telling you again now... I'm an 100% pure angel. Don't forget that. Anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. Bro, you sound like a demon. You sound like a crossroads demon. It's... Stop! Stop, Forkus! Drum rolls, please. Ta-da! Me! Thumbs up. That's a good prize. Me, chat? Youch, aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute! 
Aren't you supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know. You still don't get why me being around you will be the best thing that can ever happen to you? Listen here. I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for their human. You'll never get hurt. All troubling things in your life, poof, gone. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, I. Pretty neat, eh? That's better. Hey. Hey, this guy's like a Canadian, dude. Why do you talk like me? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You aren't my original responsibility, kid. <laughs> Never mind. What I mean is, yes, that's my job. But I'll upgrade those perks by 11. To be fair, he did explain that you're not his human. You know, you know, he did say that. Like a bonus package. Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from the start to finish. I was already going to do that, sir. Well, isn't that convenient? You just need to do what you plan then. Oh, and don't forget. Never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Haha, <laughs> was that too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? You sure you're not a demon? How much more do I have to make myself clear on this topic, lady? Do you even realize how much likability points from me to you have been dropping so far? I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have to fall have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problems they're going to be facing directly. The boss isn't much of a fan of the classic showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. <laughs> Last time a guy saw a burning tree, he almost killed his son. <laughs> Didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. I know, right? It sucks that I'm basically some kind of a pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters will know with know-it-all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic, after all, or else we won't be popular. But anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of time, I'll let you go for now. Sforkis, stop doing that pose. Never. Booba. Hon honka honka pose. <laughs> oh no. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Ah, how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just send up a prayer, and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. Sure, Forkus. Sure. But Was I just standing there like... Ah! I can't believe I let that strange voice distract me. I really was just standing there wasting time. I need to focus and go to my assigned spot. Where was that again? Oh, she's so cute. Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now, I feel that I'm missing something very important. For now, I'll just use the other assistants as an example and figure something out. Okay. Can do. Uh, here? Why is there a curtain here? This should be my assigned spot. Perfect. <laughs> um, not to be rude, but why am I the only nun with a face? We will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere appreciations to everyone who gathered here today. Not long after his wife has passed, our pastor has followed behind her footsteps. Wait. Wait, a pastor is allowed to have wives? Wives? They're not allowed to have a wife. Only like a deacon can have a wife, right? But, everyone, this is not a thing to be sad about. 
as the faithful servant of the Lord has told us before, our pastor will never abandon us even after death. At this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of his have gathered here for him. How do we know he's happy if he's dead? Just like how his wife has yet to leave and been protecting us, the pastor will do the same and take care of all of us. Let us all pray in appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. I, I, it goes to show, I, I was Roman Catholic, so I, I don't know shit. Hello? Please, look this way. Anyone? Huh? Excuse me? A voice is coming from inside the iron cage covered by the black cloth. I excuse me? What's in the black- Is anyone there? Please, someone help me. I'm so scared. Help- Uh. Uh. Let's ignore the voices today, chat. Let's- Let's do things right the first try, right? What do you think, chat? What do you think? Uh, also, Clock, don't know if you saw my earlier message, but the nun we're playing has as a name, and it's Angelica. Is that... Is that a... Is that a spoiler? Excuse me? Ignore? Ignore. It isn't. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, secondly... Ignore. Let's ignore. Uh, I swore that she looked towards my direction. Please, don't ignore me. Please help. Even if it isn't now. Just once, please talk to me. Ah! Oh. It is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. Next event is prayers, yes? Look, nope, too late. Ah, uh, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together in a candle in the memo. I don't think the pastor's wife is dead, chat. How should I go about this? Why do I have a flashlight? Excuse me? Why am I the one hold- what? Funeral information memo, front? So, prayers. Okay, what's on the back of it? The back. Candles, candles, light the candles, light them up. Yet to be lit, I need to light them. Light it up, up, up. Coffin where the pastor lies. Did- the pastor's chest just- chest move up and down just now? Must have been by imagination. I didn't see that. Could you do that again? Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, well, um, just your imagination. Church's altar. Now this looks familiar. It's like a stone-made bed. Don't want to actually lie on it, however. Yeah, take a nap. Can I light these up? I think I have to light the candles, right? Oh, take take this, take this. Of course, I need this to light up the candles. Perfect. What? Ah, were my footsteps always this loud? Oops, was that audio too over the top? Ah! Shh, it's me, lady, it's me. <laughs> I love, I love Forkus. This is me trolling, <laughs> this is me. <laughs> See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Oh, that demon from earlier. Forkus! Congrats, you got it. That's an A+. Serve just for you. You surprised me. Does this mean the loud footstep just now was... An auditory hallucination played by me. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't look so annoyed. You think I pulled that off just to mess with you? I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to bawl your eyes out. Right, right. Sorry. The people here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make them think you ruined their entire parade. For example, Honka Honka, you making a noise when they're going at it during their hardcore praying session. Why do you say it like that? Forkus. Forkus, why do you say it like that and make the Honka Honka pose? They'll hear your footsteps the same volume as how I just played it to you. Or, hey, maybe even worse. <laughs> They'll think it's loud as the sound of the entire building collapsing down. Anyways, long story short, watch your step. Well, that's enough life lessons for me. Good luck, lady, you're killing it so far. Why? 
He definitely did that just to mess with me. Excuse me, what do you mean, watch my step? Watch my step? Ah! When people are praying, my footsteps will be covered by their voices. Which means they won't, lo they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. Well, we saved, right? What happens if I just... <laughs> well, I mean... Holy fuck, why am I chained up? Did they actually just arrest me? Bros, they arrested me. I walk during during prayer silence. Oh, no. They arrested me, bro. They arrested her. I blinked and you died. It went from zero to three to... Bro. Okay. Okay, so... Our Father, who art in heaven. That'll be their name. Thy name. Come on, dude. How many how Our Fathers are you gonna say? You guys gotta at least say the whole thing. That kingdom come. Thy will be done. Oh my lord. Even I was good enough. Even I could do this much. Come on. And I was a pretty bad Christian, okay? Amen. Thank you, everyone, for your sincere prayers. Phew. Now that that's out of the way... The next procedure will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. Okay. What if I saved first? He <laughs> speed. Save. I guess I can pray. What does he say? Pray. Hey, good job back there. What? You want a prize? Alright, alright. You win. You did fantastic after all. Well, here it is. The grand prize. Obtained good job sticker from Forkus. <laughs> Thank you, Forkus. Thank you for being my emotional support angel. Well, how about it? Ain't it cute? Well then, time for you to go back to your job. Thanks, Forkus. That just made my day. <laughs> okay, sweet. What's up with this metal cage? There'll be trouble for both of us if I talk to them now. <laughs> for both of us? What do you mean, both of us? Who do we got locked up in there? Let us now sing praise of blessings for the pastor, his wife, and us, the remaining followers of the church and our father. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests, please take out the chrysanthemums you were asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. It's like... Uh. Uh, the nun from earlier. Here, over here. Ex excuse me? Points flashlight at her. You, you came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. Please, I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. Stupid demon. I won't fall for your temptations. Ignored. Ah, uh, no! Please, what do I have to do to make you look my way? Help, I don't know what they're planning to do to me. Help me, someone please help! <laughs> it is time for the next procedure. Yeah, I'm good. Chat's already decided we're ignoring it, so. I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. The next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower, and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysanthemums or not. I should take a look around for that. And the person in the cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? No, 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 I don't want no passcode. I'm doing this job like I like they said we would, okay? Speed. Ah, uh, there was like a book with some numbers on it, but let's save. 
I can save here. Um, let's pray. Let's see what he says. Go to the crowd and look at them. Now, how many? Now, how may this old wrinkly angel help you today? Ask for help, lady. Do you like spooky stories? Want me to tell you one, honka honka? Too late. I'm starting it. Did you know? When a person stays sitting on the same spot for too long, a ghost will appear and start counting all the hair strands they have. One, two, three, four. And when the ghost finishes counting all the hair, it... Snatch! Snatches you away to hell with it. How about it? Wasn't that scary? Why? Want me to hold your hand so you can calm down? What if you're bald? <laughs> Does that mean bald people can't sit down for long? Damn. <laughs> Ouch. You're too cold. God hates bald people. Confirmed. Confirmed by his angel. Oh no. I wonder what will happen to people that are bald. <laughs> Even <laughs> Never mind. No. Actually, bald people are either immune or immediately snatched. No. Neither. The ghost starts counting their ass hairs. <laughs> and don't worry, bald people always got those hairy backs, dude. I'm sorry. And that hair goes all the way down. Oh no. Okay, well, that didn't help me at all. So thanks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Demon flips him over and splits him open to count. Oh no. Okay, well, let's check for the bald. <gasps> okay, I know I got in your vision, but still, bros? Oh my god. Oh! Is anyone gonna be, like, different? <laughs> They're like, do you mind? I've got chrysanthemum. Oh, you don't have a chrysanthemum. You don't have one, sir. Get the hell out of my church. One of the followers suddenly grabbed your skirt. Hey, yo! Get the hell away from me! I I swear I brought it. Please believe me. I, I did bring it. You need to believe me. It was right here next to me. I, it was right here until just a moment ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't make a mistake next time. Please, don't report me. Report you to who? What do I do? Do I tell the truth? Or lie and count the chrysanthemum as if it was here. Do I actually have to count every single one? Bro, dude, what? Dude, what? What do you mean I have to count them all, dude? How many pews are there? One, two, three, four. Okay, you're the one. Other followers are now glaring at the person who pleaded to you earlier. There's not six benches. Six benches on each row, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six on each row. Is everyone the same or is anyone else missing their chrysanthemums? This is a goddamn cult, man. <laughs> They're so creepy. Stop. Okay, so... So, 12 times 4... 48? Is that 48? Am I stupid, chat? Or am I on the money? Um, it's not 48. Okay, well, shit. Is it... How is it not 48? Wait, 4... four oh! Oh, it's 47, yes. But... But she said to lie, so I was gonna lie. Should I not lie, chat? Pray again. All religions are cults. Tell the truth. Oh, okay, thanks. Wait. Oh, he's telling us to tell the truth. Oh. Okay, so should I tell the truth, chat? I guess I'll do what he says. Don't lie. No lies. Oh, of course. Okay. Church's altar. Now this looks familiar. It's like a stone-made bed. Don't want to actually lay on it, though. Okay, what, what am I supposed to do? Who am I talking to? Oh, this, this nun? So, 47? Why do you look so surprised? It's me. How about it? Did you miss me? I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the dot 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 just yet. What's happening? I just wanted to let you know that I'm, well, proud of you. 
Share you some good news too. Did you know your trial is about to end soon? I knew you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but you're doing great. Just keep going at it, like how you've been doing, and you'll be fine. Wishing you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for putting your faith in me. What? Why did he pop up? From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are on the left? Oh, on the left? Oh, my. Okay, so four times six. Okay. Uh, do we lie? Do we lie, chat, or do, do we tell the truth? Do we lie or tell the truth? No lies. So what is that? 23? So that's 23. Okay. I won't lie. I won't lie. I won't lie. No, it's 23 if we... I won't lie. If we tell the truth, it's 23. We're going to sell bro out. Her perspective. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, from hers. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Whoops. Whoops. My bad, guys. Sorry, I thought that was her thinking. Like, her. Like, I didn't realize it was the nun speaking. I thought it was her speaking. Whatever. Okay, 24. Confirmed. From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are on the right? So, 23. So, now we're going to tell the truth, right? 23. Uh. Are you sure? Yes, there was only 23. Why are you looking at me like that? This means someone didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Will I go check if there are any leftover chrysanthemums to use instead? The ceremony must be perfect. Oh, we definitely be drinking the Kool-Aid chat. <laughs> we are we are most definitely drinking the Kool-Aid today, chat. I I uh not gonna lie. Wait, can I just save? No matter what happens in the future, you must do what needs to be done. Oh, we're fucked. We're f It's done. It's a done deal, chat. It's over for us. Okay. Cage, I really need you not to speak to me right now. I need you to not, okay? Sister Mary's gonna go get a chrysanthemum for the guy. See, it wasn't so bad for him. No, no, guys, don't worry. He's not dead. No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through the end. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel. Borkus. With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin. We mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... Uh... Why we turn on the red lights? What? We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. I guess that's better than drinking the Kool-Aid, but, um... What? We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. Excuse me, what? Ah, uh, no! So you were just yet another cultist after all? Excuse me? I'm not just another cultist, okay? I'm Clock. Please, how can you do this to another person? I am a person, not a sacrifice. Help! I said help! Get away from me! I won't move an inch. I need to drag them out somehow. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Continuously press Z. Get the hell out of their cage! Cage is now open. Oh, great. Just stop and get out of here already! Excuse me, Angelica? I didn't know you were so hardcore. <laughs> Why? Why are you smiling? What? Congratulations, ma'am! 
What? She passed the test! As it was expected, I mean, the wife of our wise pastor would never fall for cheap tricks like this. Excuse me? We apologize for suddenly making you go through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like, well, yourself lately. We were worried that the ritual early wasn't completed properly. We thought we'd have to do it again. What do you mean, do it again? Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. But at least we are absolutely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection. They were right! What do you... What do you mean? We already did the ritual? It's her! The beloved wife of our pastor really has come back to life! What? Congratulations! You have no idea what's going on, don't you? First off, relax. I'm not on the same side as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I think I can tell you now. Finally! I was going crazy trying not to spill anything to you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? Humans typically think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. But that isn't always the case. Most fallen angels feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful, even after their corruption. If they are banished from heaven, and they choose not to go to hell, where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. Now, when angels descend to earth, we can't let our true forms be seen, so we are given a vessel from God to possess, so that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. But that's the case for angels who are still on their job. What about the fallen? God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them, so naturally their originally assigned vessels are taken away from them too. Then how can they exist on earth? The answer is obvious if you think about it. Possession? They steal a living human's body. Ah, Angelica, right? Targeting those who are desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me in your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person, and I will let your loved one take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they are whoever that was the original host of the human body, or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. Are you telling me that I'm not even me? That's right. You. Just like how you and that girl's body... ...are playing your part as the beloved wife of the pastor who miraculously came back to life. Who knew an angel could go so low enough to take over the human they were supposed to look after? You disgust me. Everyone else said you were a lost cause, but... I could feel it. You're human. She's somehow still conscious even after you've possessed her. As if you two were spiritually fighting inside on who gets to control the body. If you failed to complete the funeral service today, these people would have performed yet another ritual to your body. Thinking that the one from last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completed properly. Then the original host, Angelica, would have completely erased. That's why I insisted her to follow along, to trick them into thinking she's on their side. Wait. Plot twist? The player? Me? Am I the fallen angel? Because I was controlling her. That way, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me is enough proof. <laughs> Yo, that's really good. That's really cool. I'm sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can properly salvage you, you must persevere. Until then. Wait, that was actually a really cool twist. I kind of wish we did the opposite ending first, but we're going to do the other ending. We're going to we're going to replay the game and we're going to do the other ending, okay? 
but that was really, really good. I really like that. <laughs> so Forkus was a good guy, and it makes sense why he was angry at our guardian angel, because he was like, hey, your guardian angel sucks ass. So the player character was her original guardian angel, a fallen angel at that, I guess. And uh, <laughs> listening to Forkus, the actual... The, an actual angel who was still working for God. Ending 1, Silent Salvation. Or at least that's how I interpreted it. Maybe I'm wrong. That was Ending 1, so they wanted us to get that one first? I guess that's the easier of the two to get. We're gonna... We're gonna continue from the first save. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay? So... I love his facial expressions. He's perfect. Forkis is great. Angelica's pretty good, too, by the way. But Forkis is great. Okay, I don't want to. <laughs> you don't have to be friends with me, lady. I don't really care. But hear me when I say, never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. <laughs> Why was he so sus? I still trust you. You sure you're not a demon? I don't suspect you at all. How unexpected. Are you a people pleaser or something? You should be more suspicious of people than that. I'm afraid you'll get into some serious scam someday, lady. Well, of course you can trust me, but don't go around trusting anyone you see that easily. This old angel is pretty concerned for your future. <laughs> I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. Okay, this is the same. I like the little dialogue differences. They're great. I love, I love the point, dude. I love, I love Forkus. If you can imagine how Clock acts to things, this is basically how Clock would act to things. Especially this. Especially the haunt. <laughs> no, I mean, that. That would be, that would be Clock constantly. <laughs> okay. You should go in character AI and chat with Forkus on there. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, finally, we finally got... Have some respect. That's disgusting. All right. All right. Horny jail. All right. All right. He's going to horny jail. Okay. All right. All right. Bro's in horny jail now. I bonked him. Let's look at it this time. <sighs> did you just look it towards me? Ah, you did. You saw me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking at me. No one else even bothered to look. You were the first to respond. Does this mean you're different from others, right? Please tell me you're different. Uh, yes, I'm different. Does that mean you're also being held hostage here? Uh, that's terrifying. Are you okay? Let's escape together. If you help me, I promise to keep you safe. Brother, how are you going to keep me safe? You're in a cage. They told me I was going to play an important role during today's ceremony. They're obviously planning something bad. Something bad is going to happen to me, so please do something. Uh, behind you. What? Hello, Miss Nunn? It is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. Yeah, doing this one kind of... Doing the other ending first kind of ruins this one, because you already know it's fake, but not fake. Like, he explains what happens in this end. I just want to see what will happen. Okay. How should I go about this? Can I just skip this? Can I just not do this? Okay, well, I guess we just know what we have to do, so... Let's just do it, like... I think, I think it's just... Okay, oh my god, we have to hear this again. I redeem a posture check? Oh shit, nice. Yo, sit up straight, fuckers. You goblins. You scoliosis goblins. Get up straight back. Feet fat, flat on the ground. Make sure your chair is just a little bit higher than your desk, okay? And make sure you're looking down and not up at your monitor. And if you're laying down, stretch it out for me. Who? 
Oh, uh, do you hear that? It's the sound of my likability levels. Tr oh, okay, the illusion of choice. Damn. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm looking disrespectfully right now. Your chair is supposed to be higher than your desk, so your arms are supposed to be higher than your desk, just ever so slightly. They should be... Your hands should be going downwards just the tiniest bit. Like, on the same level is fine, too. Going up is not great. You want to be looking down at your monitor, so... Like, you want to be higher than your computer, if that makes sense. Sorry if that... Sorry if I'm not making sense. And then the feet flat on the ground is important. It, it doesn't always work out, by the way. Some people... You don't want to be looking up at it? I always thought I needed a higher desk. I mean, m you should have a standing desk. Everyone should actually have a standing desk. Um, they're really good for you. Why am I getting into this? Okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. This is going to be skipped on YouTube. So, yes, chat. Standing desk is optimal. Uh, computer was eye level. So, like, it shouldn't be, like, looking down on it, like, a lot. But, like, your head should be, like above the halfway point does that make sense you don't want to look up and bend your neck and bend your neck upwards straight on is good and obviously most desks and chairs and your height play a lot into this um like your height plays a lot into this right like like lots of girls usually can't um do this because they're not tall slash all my short kings out there um they can't exactly a lot of the short kings can't exactly have their feet flat on the ground and be above their desk slightly. So, usually you just want to find a good middle ground. But if you are short, I would recommend in getting a, uh... I would recommend in getting a, uh, footstool. But how? Get a footstool anyways, man. Treat yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. Fuck your own father, man. Okay, amen. Speed running. Ergonomics lesson. Um, yeah, and then just try to keep your your back straight. Uh, usually leaning back is not great. Can I move? Is that okay? Can I go? I kind of want to save again. Let me save. Just use a box as a footstool. That's fine. Like, anything's fine. The feet flat on the ground is important. You've probably felt it if you've ever sat in, like, a bar stool and your feet are, like, hanging. It gets really uncomfortable, but it also is bad for your, like, posture because you're putting all the weight onto your butt. And that's not good. Okay, chat? I'm gonna hydrate. Ugh. No one's asked for a hydrate in a while. Everybody, please hydrate right now. Why do I know so much about sitting your ass down, by the way? It's because I used to play League of Legends almost... Per like, I played in an amateur scene, and one of the big things there is uh, a lot of professional gamers have really bad backs and really bad um, hands and wrists. They get carpal tunnel and stuff. So, uh, as soon as I ever felt any pain in my wrist, I started searching up any way to prevent that from happening and getting carpal tunnel. And now I do wrist exercises every day. And I make sure I sit with decent posture. I still end up, like, falling down and dying into, like, dying into the gamer posture. But I that's why I had the posture check, okay? Okay, moving on. <laughs> Leave it in. Leave the sitting lesson on the YouTube VOD. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Law is a toxic fan base? Yes, yes, very. I used to be a pretty good, like, wholesome creator, but it just, I hated it. Ah, uh, the nun from earlier. Hey, here, over here. Ugh. <laughs> he ain't edited this. You don't know, you don't even watch my YouTube bots. <laughs> you, you came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. 
Please, I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. It seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. Look. Are you gonna- uh! Please open this up fast! Something bad is going to happen to me! At the end of this funeral, I can feel it! I can feel it! Wait, d don't tell me! You, you d d don't know the passcode? Th then, do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here. Please don't let me die here! I need to be more quiet or they'll... <laughs> it's time for the next procedure. Ask about the passcode. Passcode? I believe every assistance have already been informed of it. Why are you asking now? Pleading face? Flirt? Lie about forgetting it. Uh... Excuse me? What did I just hear? What the hell did I just hear? What, what was that in the background? Should I flirt? I'm gonna flirt. <laughs> Take this! Tell me the passcode beam! I love her. <laughs> CV. CV? I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. The next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell that the numbers mean what the numbers mean yet, so does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I am pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysanthemums or not. Just take a look around for that. And the person in the cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? CV. So I need to figure it out. Okay, seduction failed. Huh. Well, chat, flirting is always the answer, right? What was this? Oh, CV, as in the names, right? So, wait, wait, wait. There was a book. That was this one? First of the day. The words of his mouth. Maybe I should have read them. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Oh, CV. No, I, I, don't, I still don't get the CV thing, but 5521? Oh! Oh, because the guy in the cage... The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Oh my god, this is still telling you, don't listen to him. 5521. Okay, those are the only... That's the only letters. So I guess that makes sense, huh? Okay, do I have to do the cutscene with this guy? I guess I do. Okay, beg. Beg. So should this time I lie? By the way, chat? Should I lie this time? So this time just lie. Okay. Don't tell the truth. Alright, Forkus. It's me. Okay. Forkus, you're not listening to me. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's all just a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to be the mean guy here, but... <laughs> just, okay, wait, actually, let me redo that. I feel like we're missing something. <laughs> I feel like I skipped over the dialogue there a little too much. Whoops. It's okay, I made a save right before that. Aha. Uh -huh. I might have skipped over some different time. Like, I wanted to read it all. YouTuber back. <laughs> Why do you look so surprised? It's me. Hmm. Don't think now is the time for jokes, if that's what you were waiting for me. Let me just get straight to the point, lady. You're not listening to me. Oh, that's all I missed. Damn. <laughs> what did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's all just a misunderstanding. I didn't want to be the mean guy here, but... <laughs> you just aren't listening to me. Don't you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Listen carefully. You are in a very dangerous situation, understand? That's why she got the nosebleed. As soon as you were faced with a quick flash of an angel's true form, form, you started feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. Do as you were told. <laughs> this is a giant pillar in my screen? Excuse me? <laughs> Orcus, please. Oh my god. Okay, so... That's why we got the nosebleed in the beginning. I guess that makes sense. I kind of forgot about the nosebleed in the, in the first place. Secondly, that was really cool. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't get that reference. I never understand anyone's references. My bad. Okay, let's lie. Let's say 24 and 24, chat. Confirmed. Okay. And how many chrysanthemums on the right? Oh, 24. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm 100%. I'm yep. Confirmed. I don't think you confirmed that. I must leave for a short while to quickly check something. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, what was the what was the code again? Shit. <laughs> what was it? 54 55 24? 5521. Okay. Whoops. Close enough, chat. Close enough. Gave you the evil eyes? Nuns just do that sometimes, chat. You know, when I went to Sunday school, they always gave me these weird looks when I started, like, doing things. Suspicious. Everything is suspicious. That angel? This whole funeral? Why did they cage a person like that? I can't just stand here and let that happen. I love that the twist is that there's still a cult, by the way. <laughs> the twist is that the guardian angel is like, yeah, I just saved your life. Thanks for listening to me. By the way, these are all still fucking cultists. Like, don't get it wrong. You're in a cult. <laughs> Why did they cage a person like that? I can't just stand here and let that happen. Not only that, if I continue to stay here, who knows what, what might happen to me as well. I made up my mind. Let's just open the lock while that nun is away and I can... With the followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on the altar. So save. So do I just not spam? I knew it, I knew it! I knew something bad was waiting for me, but a human sacrifice? That's insane! Please open this cage! Let's escape this place together! Lock of the cage. Four numbered passcode. I need to enter it. So what was it, 5521? Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Cage is now open. Nice. Now drag him out. It's open. Run. Why? Why aren't you running? If we stay here, they'll. The eyes, dude. It's truly a shame you chose to run away. No, everyone's pointing at me. Didn't anyone teach you that's rude? I can't believe this. That's... that's not her! That's not the pastor's wife! What we feared became reality. The ritual during her funeral didn't work? I knew that woman was acting off lately. Good thing we tested her. We're now sure of her state. Hey. You don't have much time left. I think... I can let you know now. You know how angels... Can fall, yeah? Not all fallen angels become a demon. Many of them feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once, and tries to remain holy. So they wander around the human world since they can't go to neither heaven or hell. Angels. When we descend, we need to hide our true form so we were given vessels assigned from God to possess. But if you fall, you lose that vessel. 
Remember how I said fallen angels roam around the human world? But how can they, when they don't have a vessel? They steal a living human's body. Targeting those who are desperate. Targeting those who are unstable. Targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me in your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person and I will let your loved one take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over the mind. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they are whoever that was the original host of the human body, or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. You probably already know where I'm heading with this. Just like how the fallen angel possessing you is acting as the wife of the pastor who came back to life. But somehow you continuously showed signs of consciousness even after the possession. People of the church noticed something was off, and they became suspicious. So they set up this fake funeral to observe how you behave. This was both a test and a trap. To see if you listen or not. To see if you're the wise and faithful woman of the church they know and adore. That's why I asked you to do what they want for now. I'd descend there and help you, but they aren't letting me go down. They're saying that your actions have consequences. It's you who didn't listen, and now you must pay the price. Even when you're still alive, even when you're still asking for help, you were just confused, and you only did what you thought was best. How merciful of them, huh? I'm sorry. Then where did the wife's soul go? How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again, so that the possession could be properly complete! Quick, grab her! We need to kill her mind, so that she won't ever wake up again! Give us your body, it's for the peace of the church! Ah, uh, ah! A joke! Yes, this was all a joke! I it's me! I'm her! I'm the pastor's wife! D don't you recognize m me Please, believe me! I'm the person you all know and love, so... so... Please, just let me be! Hmm. Is that, is it, yeah, it's just gonna go into the credits. All right. Ugh, it's gonna get a stretch check, chat. Because I'm gonna stretch. Ugh. Okay. I guess, I, I guess the other ending is better. Because I like this game. I like this game a lot, actually. Um, hmm. Oh, ending two, false sacrifice. Holy moly. Play an arcade kitten game now, Clock. I was planning on tomorrow actually playing one of them. Uh, I was planning on playing Blackout Hospital starting tomorrow, but I haven't gotten a message back from arcade, so I'm I might not do a Blackout Hospital tomorrow. Uh, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I like that. That was Eloquent Countenance. Rachel Draws This Games are always, uh... <laughs> Rachel Draws This Games are always really great. Um, I really liked Dead Plates. Um, Cold Front was really good, and Elevator Hitch is pretty funny, too. Uh, I'll be replaying Elevator Hitch eventually, because it's in... Uh... Don't worry about it. I I'll, I'll replay it soon. I've played it. It's not a good video. It's a terrible video, in fact. I'll replay it. I'll get all the endings soon, okay? We're making our way slowly. But I love their games. They're awesome. And I like the twist on this one a lot. I like the horror aspect of it, too, a lot. Um, and the twist was really interesting. I love, I love Forkus. Forkus is great, okay? I want to, I keep, tr I keep saying Forkus, but I'm almost saying Farkus from Skyrim. <laughs> Anyways, Forkus is really cool. That's like how... <laughs> That's what I like his personality and the way the his reactions and stuff. That's like how I imagine clock to be 
even though we're in PNG tuber form. But uh, I love these games, so thank you so much. Really good game. And to everyone watching, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video. It helps me out a lot, and I'm sure you'll see some more stuff just like this that you will enjoy, okay? Anyways, with that, peace out. This is Clock. Bye.